so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool. Yeah, where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats. <laughs> Let's go! Hi, Flippy. Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley. Oh, nice to meet you, Chef Riley. Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. The very first thing that I need to do when you enter kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hot water and then I'm gonna rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then we need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now we can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right, and can't forget my Young Chef's Academy chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, check it out. This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah! Whoa! These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple, pink, yellow, and blue. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa! Look at this! Some yummy vegetables! Hey! Do you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah! This is an orange pepper! <laughs> Look at these! Yeah, some green beans! I sure do love vegetables! Alright! <laughs> I'm so excited! Wow! I am so excited! This is gonna be tasty! I am looking at the recipe of what we're going to be making today. Looks like we're going to be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. Oh, this is going to be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're going to be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Ooh, a small one, a medium sized one, another medium sized one, and a big one. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa! Yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes. From small, to medium, to medium, to large. <laughs> okay, put them 
right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh! Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see, is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this! It's a rolling pin! <laughs> oh, so cute! This is a small rolling pin. Whoa! And this is a big rolling pin! Whoa! They're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because you can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah! Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. And flour. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right, there we go. And uh, let's see, how about some cold ingredients? Wow, look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream, probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh, some cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream, okay. Put that down, and now, I think we're ready. Hmm. <sighs> looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools, but this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure, I hey. Brought, hey, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna to wanna to do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. And then, there we go. And perfect. Great job, Lippy. All you. right, next we're gonna wanna crack an egg. Okay. Let's see, so at Young Chef's Academy, we crack an egg using the table, not the edge of the counter, so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess. Okay. <laughs> You want to crack hard whoop, and use your thumbs to break open the egg, just like that. Perfect. You'll want to put the shell in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Let's use the table. There we go. Great job, Luffy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. rinse them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right, next we're gonna wanna do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. Wow. So this looks about right. 
Yeah. So is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is. Mm -hmm. Dried breadcrumbs. Okay. All right. Oh. I'm going to use that. Okay. One big scoop. All right. In the same bowl? Yeah. Oh, so sorry. In a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right. Next, we're going to want to add the rest of our spices. Which is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. Here we go. This one? Mm hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Salt is so yummy! Here we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And How you do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right. Next, we're going to want to put our egg into this mixing bowl, the clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay, here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee! Oh! <laughs> All right. And we're going to want to use a little bit of water. Just going to water this. In with the egg. Perfect. Thank you. Water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. Okay. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay. So let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa. Did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're gonna grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. All right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is gonna him. help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right, now we are going to touch the egg. We're going to put the green beans. We're going to use two different hands. We're going to have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not gonna touch the egg with this hand. We're gonna put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay, take the fork out. Now, do a little tossing. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay, wow, look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're going to want to put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. Good. <laughs> that looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you want to put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are going to be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. Go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Here we go. 
Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. <laughs> Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah. Let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Ooh. Wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right, there we go. Awesome, now we're gonna wanna do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. All righty. Go. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna wanna get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect, I'm ready. And we're gonna use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, okay. <laughs> Next we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay. A little bigger. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. Alright. Okay, let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. Alright. Perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrists. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay. Yes, I'll try. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. There's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay, hey, put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Mm -hmm. Remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. Wow. Oh, look delicious, Blippi. Whoa, check them out. Oh my gosh. It looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Ooh, so good. Those look yummy. Check them out. 
Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of food. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> good job cooking. <laughs> oh, yee <-haw>. <laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum. It was so tasty. Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. And look at where we're at. We're at Artists at Play. Yep, in Seattle, Washington. And this place is so cool. You can play like an artist. That's right. You can climb, you can dance, you can even make music. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, wow. cool. This looks like the yellow song fence. Whoa, a song fence? That sounds cool. I wonder how you do it. Whoa, look at these balls. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds great. Yeah. And they sounded a little different. Yeah, let's hear it again. Wow. This one was higher than that one. Yeah, mine was a little lower. Wait a second. Let's widen out and see what that sounds like. Good idea. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. My side is higher pitch. Yeah, and my side is lower. Let's go even wider. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that was really low. <laughs> Whoa, this side is high and that side is low. Yeah. Wait a second, since you're good at singing, let's check your pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good job, Mika, <laughs> you're a great singer. Yeah, thanks. let's check your pitch. <laughs> okay. Let's come up here. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. Why don't we start down there and go from really high? Wait, that side was low, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the low side. Okay, go from really low down to up to really high. Yeah, we can hear all the notes. Come on. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh, we 
make some great music yeah, together. Yeah, this place is cool. Yeah. Whoa, speaking of cool, check this out. What is this? Wow. Whoa, a really big rock. Whoa, and really small rocks. Whoa. Whoa. What are these? Maybe you just play with rocks. But there's things dangling inside. Oh, you're right. Wait, huh. what if we drop rocks on them? Try it. What a fun way to make music! Oh, yeah, and there's some over here! Oh, let's try it out! Whoa, this one only has two, a big one and a small one. Yeah, I wonder if one will be high and one will be low. All right, let's try it out! All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh! So the small one made a high-pitched noise. Yeah, and this one, the bigger one, made a lower noise. Oh, hey, I have an idea for a very, 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 very fun game. Oh, what is it? <laughs> okay, I will drop rocks on these two items. Uh -huh. And then if it's the high pitch, you jump high. Okay. And if it's the low pitch, you squat down real oh, low. Awesome. Oh, will you play with me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to just use my ears and listen. Hey. Mm hmm Every single one right. Nice. You did a good job, too. Good job. <laughs> well, shall we? Yeah, let's keep looking. Oh, Mika, check oh, it out. Oh, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> wow. This is a jungle gym, and it looks like it's made out of rope. Yeah, and you can climb up the rope, which is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Why don't we climb up higher than where we're at right now? Yeah, and things will look differently up high. That sounds like fun. Let's, let's go. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun to see what we can see up here. Yeah, we could climb really high. Whoa, you're doing a great job. You too, Bliffy. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. We can see so much from up here. Yeah, we're really high up. We can see the whole playground. Oh yeah, there's the swings. Whoa, and where Ooh. we made some music? Yeah. Oh. Hey, guess what I have? What? I brought my telescope. Whoa, cool. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you scared Gotcha. Me. And check it out. The space needle. Whoa, it's so high up. Yeah. Hey. What? I wonder if we can get even higher, as high as the space needle. Oh, yeah. If we go to the top of the space needle, I bet we're going to see things differently from yeah. way up high. And probably see even more. Cool. Let's go. Okay. Whoa. Blippi, check it out. The elevator that will take you up 52 floors. Whoa. That's really high. I'm excited. I know. Me too. <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. A, a race. race. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And I'll take the elevator. All right. And we'll see who wins. Yes. Let's do it. Ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one, go. I can't believe I get to go to the very top of the Space Needle. I wonder if I'm going to beat Blippi. This elevator is really fast. Did you know? That the Space Needle is over 600 feet tall? That's more than 180 meters. Very, very tall. Whoa, we're so high up now. Oh, I think we're almost to the top. 830, 831, 832. Yeah, I made it to the top of the Space Needle. Oh, I am very tired though. Oh, that's a lot of steps. Oh, wait a second, where's Mika? Hey, Blippi! Oh, hey, Mika! You made it to the top of the Space Needle! Yeah, I can't believe you got here first! Well, I am pretty fast. You are really fast! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> what a beautiful view! Yeah, come look! And it looks like there's a deck right here. Oh, this must be the observation deck! You are so smart, Mika! <laughs> Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it! Whoa. Whoa, this place 
This is awesome. Yeah, check out this incredible view. Whoa, and do you see all that water? Oh, that's called the Elliott Bay. Oh, it is? Yep. Wow, <laughs> I bet there's a lot of fish in there. Oh, I bet you're right. Oh, I see a lot of boats. Oh, and buildings and yeah. green trees. Oh, yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Did you know these trees are called evergreen trees? They stay green year round. So cool. Yeah. Some people call Seattle the Emerald City because of all of the green trees. Because Emerald is green. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mika, why is this place called the Space Needle? It's not like we're up in space. <laughs> That's true. Well, in the World's Fair a really long time ago, it was space themed. So they built this tower that looks like something maybe you'd find in space, right? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. we're so high up. I feel like we are getting close to space. Whoa. <laughs> well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this has been wow. so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Whoa. Whoa, what? Mika, watch out. Oh, you almost fell through. It's okay. It's a glass floor. <laughs> Whoa, are you sure it's safe and yep. strong? It's actually 10 layers of glass, which means it's as strong as walking on concrete. See? Whoa, be careful. <laughs> totally Do you think safe. it's safe enough for me to come on too? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. You got this. Whoa. Whoa. All, right. Whoa. All right. There you go. All right. See? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I guess it is safe. Whoa. This is really cool. I know, right? Oh, and look down there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the ground. Yeah, everything looks so small. Uh huh. Shall we lay down? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow, they look like ants, but they're actually people. Yeah, it's so teeny tiny. Whoa. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, do you see what I see? We're moving. Whoa. Yeah. A rotating glass floor? Yeah, and it's the only rotating glass floor in the world. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. I know, it's really fun. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, and if it rotates and goes all the way around, we can stand right here and see the whole city, 360 degrees. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, speaking wow. of cool, look at the view. Yeah, look at all of those houses. Wow, that building is so big. Oh, really big, but not as tall as this tower. <laughs> yeah, whoa, oh. and that's a big lake over there. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I see some traffic over there. And, oh, there's a football field. Whoa, cool. That looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of fun, the playground we were on oh, earlier. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you want to get a closer look? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I brought binoculars. Whoa, cool, Mika. <laughs> yeah, you want to share? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Wow, let's look out there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that person. Oh. Cute oh. bag. Hello, sir. Oh, well, I wonder where he's going. Oh, in a big hurry, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, a rainbow. It's so colorful. Yeah. Oh, oh I love rainbows. <laughs> yeah, do you know how rainbows are made? Oh, tell us. Well, light shines through a bunch of water molecules, and then it creates a rainbow. Yeah, and they're so pretty. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun up here. Yeah, what a cool way to see the city. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? Rainbow day. It's rainbow day, yeah. Flippy, how you doing? Red and orange. i
Rainbow Day. It's so colorful. Mika? Wow, wasn't that so much fun playing at the Artists of Play? Yeah, we made such cool music with those sound machines. <laughs> oh, and it was really fun racing to the top of the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, Flippy, you were really fast. <laughs> well, it was really tiring. That's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I was <laughs> impressed. Yeah, speaking of impressed. Yeah, the view was incredible. Yeah, <laughs> and this glass floor Whoa. was so awesome. Yeah, I love the Space Needle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> Alright, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> hey, Sean! Hi! What's something you include in your daily routine? Um, well, in the morning, I love to do stretching because it makes my body feel so good. Will you do some stretches with us? I would love to. <laughs> so stretching like animals, let's start with a giraffe. Reach all the way up to the sky and kind of lean to the side, to the side. Whoa. We can count. Ready? Count to five. Okay, here okay. we go. One, two, three, four, five. I feel so tall. <laughs> you are tall. And okay. next, kind of like an elephant sweeping its trunk. You're going to bend over and kind of try to touch your toes. Okay. Count to five again. One, two, three, four, five! Woohoo! Oh, that was some fun stretching. Yes. Now, I think we're all warmed up and ready for a dance party! Woohoo! So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, Whippy! Reporting live from Hawaii Children's Discovery Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful day. Aloha, it's me, Blippi, and today we have a special report. Yeah, on jobs and professions. Are you excited to learn about jobs and professions? Me too, let's go. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah, that's a siren. There must be a fire around here, come on. Whoa! Yeah, we need to act like a firefighter so then we can put out the fire. Okay, yeah, check it out. Yeah, my firefighting hat. Whoa! And then you would wear these clothes to help protect you. Oh, and look at the fire truck. Wow, do you see this ladder? Yeah, that's how firefighters climb really high. Yeah, they use ladders. Wow, I love fire trucks. Oh, and look down here. This is where you connect the water to the fire truck. You know where you connect it from? Yeah, a fire hydrant. Whoa, cool. But this fire hydrant actually has a hose connected to it. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. I'm spraying so much water. Wow, firefighters love to spray water. Yeah, because then it puts out the fire. Yeah. That's on the building. All right, let's put this back. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to drive the fire truck. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, yeah, whoa. I love driving fire trucks. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, and the sirens. Yeah, and the lights. Wow, being a firefighter would be so cool because you know you get to help so many people. Whoa, all right. <laughs> oh, check this out over here. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now that the lug nuts are off, we can remove the wheel and tire. You know what shape this is? Yeah, a circle. All right, let's go replace it with this brand new one over here. All right, wow, a nice brand new one. And then we need three lug nuts. One, two, three. Wow, that last tire was flat, but this one is nice and pumped up. All right, let's put it right here. Ooh, being a mechanic is hard work. 
<laughs> All right, let's start the lug nuts just like this. All right, there's one, here's two, and then the last one. So what you do is you barely put it on, just with your hands like that. And then you take this, and this tightens them up. Wow, that was so much fun acting like a car mechanic. Wow, shall we keep exploring? Let's go. Whoa, your town bank. Yeah, many towns have banks. Let's go act like we're a bank teller. <laughs> bank tellers sit down right here and then wait for people to deposit or to take out money. You can act like one of those people. Oh, hello, how can I help you? Oh, you would like some money? All right, hold on, let me access your account. Here you go. <laughs> Have a good day. Wow, I love acting like a bank teller. All right, I'll be right over. Whoa, hey, now I can act like I'm a worker. Yeah, at just a store. Yeah, and I just went to the bank. Now I gotta go to my job. All right, yeah, I'm a grocery worker. Whoa, yeah, also known as a grocer. <laughs> All right, I'm at work now. <laughs> oh, come into the grocery store. Whoa! Shall we get some groceries? Oh, yeah! How about some peaches? What a yummy fruit. <laughs> Ooh! And pineapple! Wow, I love pineapple. It is so sweet. Such a yummy fruit. And they grow a lot on Hawaii, which is one of our states in America. Okay, I think this is enough. Wait, maybe we should get a vegetable. Oh, yeah, like a head of lettuce? Okay. Ooh, and some pears. Yum! Maybe we should go check out. Yeah, so then I can act like a cashier at a grocery store. All right, we have some peaches. We have green beans. Oh, the pineapple. Okay, a couple more. Woo, and we have the pears. <laughs> yeah, very healthy. And we also grabbed the lettuce. <laughs> also very healthy. All right, and your total. Whoa, that's a big number. <laughs> cool. And the person that bags all these up is the courtesy clerk. So then they can give you the groceries that you got and then you can go home. Well, it's the end of my shift. So maybe I'll go explore and see what other professions and jobs we can find. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, I need to mail off this letter. All right, see you later. <laughs> Have a fun journey. <laughs> Wait a second, post office workers are very important. They make sure mail and packages go from one location to the next. What a challenging job that is. But hey, why don't you and I act like a post office worker? <laughs> All right, first things first, we have to dress like one. Check out my hat, yeah, keeps the sun out from my face while walking around town picking up the mail. Oh, <laughs> and then I'll wear this shirt. Yeah, now I'm looking like a post office worker, right? Yeah, the best post office in the world is me. And my name's Sean. <laughs> All right, and look at this. This is what I collect my mail in. All right, let's walk over here and let's open this up. Whoa, look at all those letters. All right, let me collect them. All right, and as the post office worker, now we need to take them inside and put them in the bag. All right, here we go. Whoa, now I look official, right? All right, so let's put them in the bag and then we can deliver them around town, across the country or the world. Wow, what an important job that is, right? I know, anything physical that goes from point A to point B, yeah, is gonna be delivered as a post office worker if you send it in the mail. Wow, hey, and here it is. Yeah, the veterinarian's office needs their mail. Here it is. <laughs> All right, you folks enjoy. 
Wow, that was so much fun acting like a post office worker. And speaking of fun jobs, why don't you and I act like a veterinarian? Whoa, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, check it out. Now we're in the vet's office. Yeah, vet is short for veterinarian. Oh, and check it out. This is what they wear. Yeah, doesn't it look like a nurse or a doctor's outfit? Yeah, because that's what they do, but they do that for animals. Wow, what an important and fun job. Oh, speaking of fun. Oh, hey kitty. Hey kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, so cute. Why are you here? Oh, you're here because you have an upset stomach? Oh, well, I'll help you out. Oh, and do you have a dog friend? Oh, look at the dog friend. Oh, they love playing with each other. Whoa! All right, let's help the kitty out. All right, let's put the kitty right here. Oh, and then it looks like we have... Wow! Look at this! And look at this! And look at this! A lot of tools that veterinarians use. Okay, there we go. Looking inside the ears, the eyes, the nose. What else do we have here? Whoa! These don't look like they're for kitties. <laughs> well, we won't use those. I definitely will use this though. Let's see here. Okay, here you go, kitty. Oh, how does that feel? Oh, we helped the kitty. Now its tummy feels a lot better. Okay, we'll put the kitty right over here. Oh, and check out these. Yeah, do you know what these are? Yeah, dog bones. Dogs love these. Remember our friend from earlier? <laughs> Let's see if he wants one. Hey, doggy, here you go. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun acting like a veterinarian. Wow, I sure do love different types of jobs. They're so fun. Whoa, wasn't that so much fun? I know, I had a great time. And hey, did you know a TV reporter is another job and profession? Yeah, they talk about the weather, they talk about the news. Hey, yeah, the news today is we had so much fun. <laughs> wow, isn't it cool how different jobs do different things in town to make things run? And every job is very important. Great, I wonder what you're gonna be when you grow up. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Aloha. <laughs>
Whoa! Rainbow trout. Whoa, you see how big those rainbow trout are? Yeah, these are some really big fish. Yeah, rainbow trout can be up to 30 pounds. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that's really big. Ooh. And do you know why rainbow trout are called rainbow trout? Hmm, <laughs> look closely. They're so colorful, see? <laughs> There's blue on that one and some red on that one. Ooh, I think I see some green on that other one. <laughs> oh, and yellow too. <laughs> yeah, they're so colorful. Hmm, I like to be colorful too. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me, rainbow trout love cold water. <laughs> well, that makes sense why they like being next to the cool water here in the creek and by the waterfall. <laughs> I like the cold, but I need a jacket. <laughs> oh, look at them swim. Whoa, <laughs> hello fish, hello fishies. <laughs> well, yeah, they're going really fast. Rainbow trout are the fastest freshwater fish. Oh, they love swimming around and jumping. They can even jump four feet in the air. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I like to go fast and jump, and I do like to be colorful. Ooh, hey. How about let's act like the rainbow trout? Woohoo! Okay, stand up with me and go really fast and jump and move like the fish. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Me and the fish! Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun being a rainbow trout. But you know what else would be really fun? Yeah, going fishing and catching a fish. <laughs> Hey, that would be fun, but I think I need a little help. Hmm, bet we can find someone to teach us. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like there's some more fish over here. Ooh, maybe this would be a really good place to go fishing. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Look, I see someone. <laughs> I bet they could help teach us how to fish. <laughs> Let's go say hi. Oh. Hi there, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jim. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Jim. <laughs> well, we've been admiring all the beautiful fish and I was hoping to go fishing today. Do you think you could teach me how? I think so. <laughs> okay, great. Well, what's the first thing to be a fisherman? Well, actually, you need some equipment. Oh, um, okay. I just happen to have some here. Whoa. Oh, this what's is, that? This is, called a, this is called a fishing vest. Whoa, oh, thank you. And it goes on, and they have a little pocket so you can put your your tackle in there. Oh, check it out! My very own fishing vest. <laughs> well, now I really feel like a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fisherman. <laughs> well, what other equipment will we need? Well, we need a fishing pole. Oh, okay. Whoa, and I like this fishing pole because look, it's orange. <laughs> yeah, whoa, that's cool. Yeah, and this is called a spinning reel. Oh, check it out. Yeah. You see this? A spinning reel right there. Whoa, and is this the fishing line? Yeah, that's a fishing line, and it's really almost clear so that doesn't, the fish can't see it. Whoa, that's so, so cool. So we can fool them, and this, is, <laughs> and this is called the lure. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, that lure. Whoa, that looks so cool. And I bet when this is in the water, it looks pretty sparkly. <laughs> it does. It, the little spinner goes around and around, and it flashes in the sun. Whoa! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and it makes little vibrations in the water, little noises that Whoa. the fish can hear. Yeah, and I bet they like that a lot. They yeah, come swimming over. They do. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, they do like it. And is this where you hold the fishing rod? Yeah, you hold it with one of your fingers through there. Okay. And then one finger up here that can grab the line. Okay. Just roll that over, and then you push it forward, and when you go forward, you release your release the finger, and it okay. lets the line come off the reel. Oh, well, that sounds easy enough. You can do that? I think so, but I also saw this. <laughs> it's a net! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, I think this is for the fish, right? Well, yes, actually, <laughs> it's so that we can get them out of the water. That's kind of far down there to get them out of the water, and yeah, sometimes you can't just lift them out because they might break the line. Oh yeah, and you don't want to fall in either. <laughs> so you use the net to scoop them up in the water and then you can get them out and take the hook out. Well, maybe you could show me how to cast the line and I can hold the net and help net it out of the water. <laughs> oh, sure, I would like that. Okay, here, I'll hold the net and let's see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> All right, are okay. you ready? Yeah, I'll stand over here. Okay. <laughs> here so, we go. Gonna grab the line, gonna cast. 
Whoa, look at it Whoa. go. Whoa, it's spinning through the water. Whoa, looks like the fish are liking it. Whoa. We got one. Whoa. That was so fast. Oh, Whoa. it came unhooked. Oh, well, that was close. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh. <laughs> we got one. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can catch him in my net. Boy, Whoa. look at him splashing and jumping. Whoa. Yes. Here we go. There you go. Good job. Oh, look. Oh, we caught a fish. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It looks like it's a rainbow trout. Yeah. Here, I'll let you take it. You want take... me to take the hook out? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, rainbow trout are really, really colorful fish. Yes. They're all different okay, colors. Like we got the hook red out. and green. Okay. Whoa. Let me get my hands wet. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we want our hands wet if we're going to touch a fish. <laughs> there we Whoa, go. Oh, look at him. Yeah, look. It's the fish's tail and. Whoa, what are those right here? That's called his gill plate. Wow. And it's a male. Whoa, it's so colorful. See, the See red that? gill plate. They get like that in the fall when they're spawning. The males get really colorful. Whoa. <laughs> and look, it has a lot of spots. <laughs> so we're going to have to get this guy back in the water, though. Whoa. Uh-oh. Whoa, uh -oh. <laughs> Whoa dance a fish. <laughs> get him back okay. in the net. Yeah, there we, we go. better put him back in the water. Okay. Whoa. Here you go. Just watch him swim away here. Whoa. Here you go. There, he's doing better. Whoa, look Come at him on. go. Aw, <laughs> bye-bye, little fish. <laughs> yeah, those rainbow trout, they really like swimming through the water, and it's important for them to be sent back into the water so that they can breathe through their gills. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, little fishy. <laughs> Whoa, you are really good at catching fish with your fishing rod. <laughs> well, I bet you can do it. Well, you think I could try? Sure. Okay, maybe I'll try this time, and do you think you could help me yes. net it? <laughs> okay, here we go. So the first things first, we have to hold it like this. See? Ooh, is that right, Jim? That's perfect. Oh, and then we want to put our finger on the line and flip this little, hmm, what yeah, do you call that? The bale. The bale? The bale? Whoa, yeah. See the bale? Oh, that silver part. And then, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> we want to cast the line. Here we go. Ready? Whoa, good cast. Whoa, Whoa, that was really far. <laughs> okay, we put the bale down and we start to slowly bring it back. Okay, and now we want the spinner to spin. And this time I'm gonna hold it oh, up. Oh, you got him. Whoa! Whoa! There you go. Here we go. All Reel right. him in. Reel him in. Whoa! Boy, he's fighting. Here we go. Oh, he's coming. You got him. Whoa! Yeah! We got him! Whoa, here, I'll hold the net. <laughs> you could help take out the hook. Okay. Whoa, I caught my very own fish. You did it, Whoa. you did it. Yeah, it's really fun catching the fish and it's really nice too to release them back into the water so they can keep being really swimmy and going really fast. Whoa, that one's so shiny, look. Oh, yeah, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a female. You notice he's not as red as the other one. Oh yeah. Kind of yeah. white colored on the yeah, belly. Kind of white on the belly. Whoa. Well, we better put him back. <laughs> bye bye, little fish. <laughs> oh, Jim, I see there's a little waterfall over there. Oh, where does all the water come from? <laughs> well, we have springs in this park. The water comes right up out of the ground. Whoa. And, and bubbles up, and it's nice and cold. Whoa. So I bet. The fish love it. <laughs> That's what creates the whole creek is the springs. Wow, it's amazing. And rainbow trout love cold water. So <laughs> that's why they're here. <laughs> well, Jim, I also noticed you had some other fishing rods. Yeah. Right over here. Ooh. There's one and whoa, two. Yeah. What kind of fishing rods are these? Well, these are called fly rods. Oh, fly rods. And because <laughs> They call the lures flies, okay. and flies are very small, so this is a special rod designed to throw little tiny flies like this. Oh yeah, look, there's a lure right here. Yep. See, it's a teeny tiny little lure, <laughs> just like a little fly buzzing around. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks a little different, right? The, this part right here. The fly reel, that's the reel that holds the line. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. a little different from that other rod. <laughs> yeah, and the line's different too, it's bright. Bright green and it's big, really Whoa. fat. Oh yeah, it's a little heavier too. Well, do you think you could show me how to use a fly rod? Sure. Well, first you just unhook it like you did. Okay. And get it unwrapped. There you right go. Right on like that. So look, there Whoa. you go. <laughs> Got a little bit wrapped up. Yeah. 
It happens. Yeah. Okay. Now, once you get it up like that, you lay, throw the line out in the water a little bit. Okay. Just like that. Okay, here, let and, me unwrap it a bit. Yeah, I can help you. Well, that. thanks, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now, let some line out. Okay. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> there, once you have some line out, you bring the rod back and you stop it right about here. Okay. And then you roll it back forward like this until the fly goes right in the water like that. Oh, okay. There you go. Here, yep. let's see if we can try. Give and it then a try. Once it goes down, I just reel it back in. You only well, watch that float and see if it goes under. If the fish take it and grab it, it'll go. It'll go down, and then you then you pull the fish in. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> we'll go up and then down. Yep. Whoop. That's it. Whoa! That was a little tricky. <laughs> yep. I'll try again. Do it. Try again. Here we go. I'll go up. Yep. There it is. Now just let it sit. Now watch that float. And if you see it go down, that's when you that's when you jerk the fish in. Go, He's, go, whoa, go! Here we go! Pull it up hard! Pull it up hard! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> he, he got, got away! He got away! <laughs> okay. Try well, it again. Definitely takes a lot of patience doing fishing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. See if you can do that cast again. Okay, here we go. We'll go up and over. Okay. That's it. Whoa! Whoa! whoa look at that big one. thing! Whoa! My goodness, that's a big one. Whoa! Check it out! Whoa, this is a really big one. I <laughs> think I better stick with the net. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, look, Jim's reeling him in. Oh, I'm gonna pick up the fish with my net so we can see him. Whoa, oh, this fish is enormous. It's gigantic. It's huge. <laughs> look. Whoa, here you go. Wow, Come I'm gonna on. need a good net, man. Whoa, yeah. Oh, look, he's tangled up in the line. He's coming in, though. You ready? Here you go. That little fish. You got him. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's heavy. Whoa, he's so heavy. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Whoa. Wow. Jim, how big is this fish? This fish is about four pounds or Whoa. more. Four pound yeah, fish. Yeah, about That's 23 a big fish. inches. Whoa. 23 wow. inches. Look at him. Whoa, look at the size of this fish. Hi, little guy. <laughs> well, thanks for coming up here with us. <laughs> Whoa, look better at that. send it back to the water. <laughs> yeah, we better get him back in there. Here we go. There you go. Back into the net. He's going to do it. There and you go. back to the water you go. Ooh. There you go. Just let him breathe a little bit. <laughs> and once he, here starts, he goes. starts kicking around, we'll let him go back. Yeah. Just like that. There you go. Perfect. There you go, little fishy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa. Good job. That was awesome. Yeah, that was the biggest fish ever. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me about fly fishing and using a fishing rod. <laughs> I feel like a real fisherman. Well, I guess what? I have a surprise for you. A surprise for me? Yeah. Whoa. I got this little rod for you to practice with. Whoa, check it out. It's for me, my very own fishing practice rod. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It's flippy, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it's orange and blue. And this is probably a very good rod to practice with because it's safe. It has a bow tie instead of a hook. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jim. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. I'll see ya. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I had so much fun finding a creek with some rainbow trout. Yeah, meeting Jim and learning how to fish and fly fish and getting my very own flippy kid casters fishing rod. <laughs> well, this isn't a real fishing rod, but it's great for practice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think fish like to eat bow ties. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready for some more practice. I wonder if we'll catch something. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, looks like we caught something. I think it's I think it's a boot. <laughs> well, let's try again. See if we catch a fish. Here we go. Whoa! Oh! Ah, Whoa! It's it's a potato. <laughs> That's pretty silly. But I think this time we're definitely going to catch a fish. Here we go. And woo! <laughs> let's see. 
It's a fish! Yeah! A silly fish! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna keep practicing. Ooh, here we go. <gasps> Wait a minute. I think we got another one. <laughs> Whoa! So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Flippy! It's me, Flippy, and I was just making some sweet tunes on my tambourine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Musical instruments are so fun, and this one is called a tambourine. <laughs> yeah! It is so much fun to play because you can play it like a drum. It has this outside part right here that you can hit like this. But what's super fun about a tambourine is the back. Whoa, look at it. It has all these little jingles. <laughs> Do you know what shape this tambourine is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's a circle and all the little jingles and jangles around it are also little teeny tiny circles. <laughs> yeah, those are called zills. Ooh, zills. <laughs> That's a really silly name for something on a tambourine. <laughs> it is really fun to play because when you hit it, it makes a beat. Yeah, a beat. Have you heard of a beat before? <laughs> a beat is a part of music that you can feel, helps you dance along. <laughs> Playing with this tambourine was so fun. What if you and I made up a song on the spot about a tambourine? <laughs> okay, let's try. Here we go. My name is Blippi. How about you? This is a tambourine. It's brand new. Bang it on your hand to keep the beat. Feel it in your toes and move your feet. <laughs> yeah, good job. That was so much fun, learning about tambourines and making up our very own song. <laughs> yeah! Oh, but look at this. This table is covered with different musical instruments. Whoa! Look at them all. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look at this over here. Do you know what shape this musical instrument is? <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle. And guess what? The name of this instrument is the same as its shape. It's called a triangle. <laughs> yeah, triangles are really cool and make a very, very pretty sound. Hmm. How about I hit this triangle, this little stick, and see what sound it makes? What do you think? Should I play the triangle? <laughs> Okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three, triangle! <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's play it again. Whoa! If you close your eyes, it kinda sounds like a little fairy. Or maybe the bell telling you that dinner's ready. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> this triangle is really cool because it makes a really pretty ding sound. But depending on how you hold it or hit this triangle, it can make different sounds like this. Ooh, that's different. <laughs> Maybe not as pretty, but definitely cool. It would make some really interesting music. You can also hit it soft or a little ding, <laughs> or really big and loud for a big ding. Here we go. Whoa, 
Triangles are so cool. Hey, and look at this over here. What's this? Hmm. Well, this doesn't look like a musical instrument because it's not a musical instrument. This is a metronome. Yeah, this is really helpful if you're trying to keep the beat and stay on time. Mm-hmm, yeah. See this right here? This metronome is gonna move and tell us how fast the beat of the song is. Okay, here we go. And with this metronome, you'll see something really cool. Do you hear the dings? <laughs> Whoa! See, it moves back and forth and tells you the beat of the song. <laughs> Whoa! I'm getting a little bit dizzy after dancing like a metronome. Woo! <laughs> that was really fun. Hey, it's really important to make sure to stay on beat and something like a metronome is super helpful to keep you on time. <laughs> Oh, and look at this! This is awesome! <laughs> I bet you might have seen one of these instruments before. Yeah, this is a keyboard or a piano. <laughs> yeah, and this keyboard is really awesome because it's an electric instrument. Yeah, this electric instrument means it needs electricity or batteries to make it work. Whoa. And look at how cool it is. It has all these keys, see? It has some white keys. Yeah, a lot of white keys you can press with your fingers and some black keys too. Yeah, in between the white keys. And you can press those too to make different notes. Hmm. Notes, what's a note? Hmm, let's turn on the keyboard and find out. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa, that makes such a pretty sound. If you press one of the keys, it makes a note. <laughs> if you press a different key somewhere else on the keyboard, it'll make a different note. Whoa, that note sounds different. It also makes me feel a little different too. <laughs> note sounds pretty happy. <laughs> this note sounds a little confused. Whoa! <laughs> and you can also play songs using lots of different notes. <laughs> the cool thing about a keyboard is it has so many sounds, you can make all kinds of songs. Like maybe you want a song to be a little spooky for Halloween. <laughs> it's like a ghost is around. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty fun though. And you can also play things that are maybe a little more classical or serious. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, it's making me thirsty for some very yummy tea and cookies. <laughs> you also can play other things instead of just using your fingers. Whoa! You can be really silly and use your whole hand. Like, if I change the sound and make a fist, I can roll my fist and play a song. <laughs> Whoa, that's a really funny song. <laughs> I'm gonna play it again. Oh, keyboards are so amazing. You can even make songs that sound magical. <laughs> Whoa! Music is so amazing! Hey, and when you use notes, it makes the song sound even better. <laughs> hey, earlier we made up a song about a tambourine, but we only had beats. Now that we have notes, let's sing a new song with some notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, 
Happy birthday from Flippy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Whoa! We did it! We sang a song using notes and made up a song using beats. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about musical instruments with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, good. Here we go. P-L-I. P-P-I. Flippy. <laughs> good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to keep playing some sweet tunes. And hey, this one even plays itself. Bye-bye. me, Blippi! And can you guess where I am today? <laughs> yeah! That's right, we're here in Diggerland in Kent, England! <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what I'm writing in? Yeah, this right here is a telehandler. <laughs> yeah, they're really big vehicles that lift really big, heavy things. <laughs> but today, it's not lifting a big, heavy thing, it's lifting me! <laughs> Whoa, here we go! Whoa! Diggerland is awesome! And I wonder what kind of construction vehicles we'll see today. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you hear something? Hmm, I think I hear a vehicle. Do you see a construction vehicle behind me? <gasps> Whoa, check it out! It's an excavator! <laughs> yeah! Well, I love excavators. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Let's pretend to be excavators and dig in the dirt together. <laughs> Okay, I'll teach you how. Just bring up your arm to be the arm, the boom, and the bucket, and start to scoop. <laughs> Whoa, look at a scoop! Whoa, that was so much dirt! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I think I see someone in the cab. Maybe they can teach us how to operate the excavator. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, it's so muddy here. Good thing I brought my rain boots. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a person. Come on, let's go say hi. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? My name's Brad. Oh, Brad, it's nice to meet you. Can you teach us how to operate the excavator? Of course I can. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, Brad, can I climb up in there? Yes. Okay, Careful. here we go. <laughs> Let's get into the cab. So, seatbelt first for me. Oh yeah, safety first. That stick over there, mm -hmm. I want you to pull it backwards for me and that's gonna go all the way up. Okay, here we go. If you push it forwards for me, it should go all the way down for you. Now, if you go side to side on that one, it's gonna open and close your bucket for you to do big scoops. Whoa, check it out! Now, on this one here, if you go forwards and backwards for me, that's gonna go in and out. Okay. Whoa! So this is controlling the arm. Yes. Whoa. And then the last bit, if you go side to side on it, that will turn the whole thing for you. Okay, here we go. Watch awesome. out. Watch <laughs> out. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! Yeah! I can control the arm right here and the boom over here. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Let's scoop some more dirt. Here we go! Whoa! 
Look at all the dirt we got. Here we go. Did you see that? Whoa, excavators are awesome. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's so bumpy. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning how to operate the excavator. Huh? But excavators are really cool. But I bet there's some pretty amazing construction vehicles we can go find. <laughs> Come on! This place is so much fun! <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what it says? It says, stack attack. Hmm, wait a minute. I think this is a game we can play together. Well, let's go inside and play. This place is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, so muddy and dirty here. <laughs> I bet this game is definitely gonna be messy. <laughs> Whoa, and look at what it is. <laughs> They're giant tires. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at all the tires here. It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six tires. Hmm, well, I bet the game is we need to stack all the tires up. Stack, attack. Stack the tires. Okay, we can do it. Okay, we just need to get a tire and stack it on another and we can make a tower of tires. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> that tire is way too heavy to pick up. Hmm, but I wonder how we're going to stack all of those tires. No way! <laughs> Look at what it is! It's a compact loader! Whoa! This is gonna be perfect for stacking those tires. Yeah, do you see in the front? This is a hydraulic claw! Yeah, look at it. Whoa! <laughs> and it uses these little claws here to grab the tires and stack them up. <laughs> Whoa! I think we should get inside <laughs> and try to stack up those tires. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty fun. <laughs> hey, it's kind of like any other vehicle. Safety first. You need your seatbelt. <laughs> okay, we'll buckle up. And, hmm, well, we also need to know how to drive it. So first, we have pedals. One pedal goes forward, and the other pedal, it goes backwards. <laughs> it has a key, just like a car, so we can turn it on and a steering wheel <laughs> so we can change direction. Ooh, and do you see what this is? Yeah, this right here, this is the control for the hydraulic claw. Yeah, when we move this, it will move the claw so we can stack up those tires and have lots of fun and win the game. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to stack those tires. <laughs> here we go. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. One tire! <laughs> okay. Whee! We stacked three tires, but we need to stack the rest. <laughs> Pretty fun and a little bit silly. <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Hello! <laughs> Check 
Check it out! <laughs> Do you know what I was just driving? <laughs> yeah, that is a backhoe! <laughs> yeah, it's a little bumpy to drive, but so fun! And I thought we could go on a ride together. But first, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what this is called? It's called the front bucket. Yeah, and on a backhoe, it helps to dig up all the dirt <laughs> so you can make a really big hole and help to build something if you're on a construction site. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. A backhoe has really big wheels and tires. <laughs> yeah, look, it has medium-sized front wheels and tires <laughs> and really, really, really big <laughs> back wheels and tires. <laughs> it's a little bit muddy. <laughs> yeah, look, big treads help to get all the mud so it can go really fast <laughs> and so that it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what this is? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's an excavator arm. Wait a minute, a backhoe like this has an excavator arm attachment, just like the Blippi Mobile has an excavator arm attachment. <laughs> yeah, it has an arm, a boom, and a bucket, so it can dig all the dirt in the back, or the front bucket can dig in the front. Well, that was really cool showing you the exterior of the backhoe. Now. Time to get inside and go for a ride. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Watch your step. Whoa, I am so excited to go on a ride with you. But first things first, you need to buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> and I'm gonna buckle up too. <laughs> Safety first. <sighs> okay, and now we get to start the backhoe. And kind of like a car, it has a key right over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, yeah, check it out. We're inside the backhoe. It has a wheel just like a car. And look, oh, <laughs> a windshield wiper. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, but it's not raining right now, so we don't need that. And it has a gear shifter. So we'll put that into the right gear and take the brake away. Okay, <laughs> okay we're all ready to drive. <laughs> Oh, but I forgot another important thing. Yeah, if we want to move the front bucket, we just move this knob right over here. Here we go. Check it out. Whoa, up, down, up. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to drive. Here we go. Woo! Do you see what it is? Yeah, there's a bunch of tires. Maybe we can try to pick one up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, do you see it? Look, we grabbed a tire with the front bucket. And I have an idea. <laughs> Let's take it with us on our journey. Woo, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was a big bump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's so fun driving in a backhoe because the tires and treads are so big that even if we drive over a couple bumps, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, can't hurt us. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna make a big turn. Whoa! And through a big puddle. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, good thing we have our seatbelt on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look up ahead. It looks like there are two really big hills. One, two. One of them looks really, really steep and really big. You think we can make it over it? <laughs> Good, me too. Okay, we're gonna go really fast and go over the big hill. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. means we get to have lots of fun in the rain and the mud. <laughs> Whoa, and look at what it is. It's an excavator. <laughs> yeah, look, there's the cab where workers sit to control the boom, <laughs> the arm, and the bucket. Wait a minute, that's not the bucket. 
Those are seats! <laughs> you know what? I bet we can ride this excavator! Yeah, this isn't any ordinary excavator. This is Spin Dizzy! <laughs> and it's a ride! Yeah, it's called Spin Dizzy because you spin and get really dizzy! <laughs> okay, let's get on it! Woo! Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at me go! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! That was so fun! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! That was so much fun spinning in the excavator! <laughs> I got a little bit dizzy. Whoa! That was so much fun today at Diggerland! <laughs> we saw so many construction vehicles and we got to operate them. <laughs> we even got to see an excavator. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> OK, <laughs> get ready. B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Looks pretty steady. Perfect. Now for the fun part. Okay. <laughs> we're going to hammer on the lid. Oh, that's why you were hammering before. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we go. Is this okay? Yep, perfect. And Emily, you want to hammer some? Absolutely. You need to put a little bit of oomph behind Whoa. it. Whoa, that's an oomph. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I think it's ready. Yeah. Okay, and now we just flip it over. Exactly. Okay, everyone, take 10 steps back. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Do you want to see what was going on inside the paint can? Oh, that would be awesome! <laughs> yeah, we saw it launch like a rocket, but I want to see those carbon dioxide bubbles. <laughs> okay, okay, so what do we need to do? We can make them right here. So we have vinegar, that's our acid, and we have baking soda, that's our base. Mm. So what we're going to do is add our food coloring first because everything is more fun in color. Whoa. We'll give you blue. And you have orange. I have orange. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I wonder why we're using those two colors. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they might be your favorite. Yeah. So go ahead and add a few drops just like that. And Whoa. let's stir it in. Okay. Give it a good stir. Now in one of these, <laughs> I'm going to add some soap. My hypothesis is that the soap is going to trap those carbon dioxide bubbles and make this one a bit more frothy and soapy. Whoa. Hey. Have you heard the word hypothesis before? Yeah, it's a really long word for basically a guess. <laughs> and Emily, I think you made a really good guess. <laughs> I think so. Let's test it out though. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! Look, do you see how mine looks a little bit more Frothy. Whoa. That's the soap trapping those carbon dioxide bubbles. Yeah, it looks like yours has a lot of teeny bubbles and I have really big bubbles. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's cool. And Emily, we used this experiment using cups. Mm -hmm. Could we use a different container? Absolutely, we could. Oh, what about that water bottle? <laughs> this would be perfect. Huh. I wonder how the bubbles will shoot out of that. <laughs> I know. My hypothesis is, is because this one is going from a large area to a small area, it's going to shoot up fast and maybe go a little higher. Hmm, another good guess. We gotta test it. <laughs> oh, and what color should we make this? Well, my favorite color is pink. Ooh. Can we make it pink? Yeah, let's make it pink. <laughs> okay. oh. One, two, three. There we go. Stir that in. Whoa, it's like a pinky red color. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be some fun bubbles. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to pour it in and let's see what happens. <laughs> let's test that hypothesis. Okay, get ready. These are gonna be some big bubbles. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Your it hypothesis did. was right. It shot up higher, didn't yeah. it? That was great. Whoa, that was really cool. Bubble launch. Now it looks so pink. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, we have some pink, and we have some orange, and some blue. Whoa, look, Emily. We have a fun little elephant in some blue water just taking a bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hmm. We tried a cup and a water bottle. What if we try something a little bit silly? Okay. <laughs> what did you have in mind? An orange! <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, I love the color orange and I love eating the fruit in orange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have an orange. Oh, and there's some baking soda inside. And here's some vinegar okay, for you. Okay, thank you. And this one. I want to be extra silly, so let's make the vinegar green. Oh, I like it. We haven't done green yet. Whoa! <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to stir that up. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Okay. I I'm, don't know what it's going to look like. I'm going to try to hold it. My hypothesis is that this is going to be messy. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Whoa! 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 It's so fizzy! Whoa, Emily, that was awesome! That was great! Whoa, yeah! Look at that! So many bubbles, those carbon dioxide bubbles went everywhere! That's a great acid-base chemical reaction right mm -hmm. there. <laughs> well, this was some fun experimenting. Mm -hmm. Do you think we could do another one? I 
think so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go clean up my hand. <laughs> Flippy, are you ready for the next experiment? Mm -hmm. I'm really excited, but I think we should take a little break first. And look, a swing set. <laughs> Let's on. go. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, I just love swinging. <laughs> uh, but Emily, yeah. is there something scientific about swinging? Oh my gosh, yes, there's science all around us. With Whoa. swings, gravity is bringing us back down and our legs are giving us momentum to bring Ooh. us back up. <laughs> yeah, and my legs are really strong from dancing so I can go really high on the swing! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa, good thing we have gravity to bring me back down <laughs> or else I might fly all the way to the moon. Ooh, that would be fun. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Astronaut Flippy, here I come! Woohoo! <laughs> oh! Oh, Emily, I have an idea. Follow me! <laughs> okay. Here we go. so much fun taking a break. But Emily, I'm ready for another experiment. All right, we are going to make oobleck. Oobleck, fun. Yes. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid and all you need for this, you can make this at home, is two parts cornstarch to one part water. Ooh. So let's go ahead and mix those in. Wow. Put your cornstarch in here. Okay. Go ahead. Cornstarch. Just like so. Good, <laughs> oh, good. It's snowing. <laughs> wow. Now, Add your water. Okay. Just like that. And you're gonna wanna just get your hands in here. <laughs> Whoa! This is really fun, mixing it up with your hands. And you said it was a non-Newtonian fluid? Yes, Whoa. so a non-Newtonian fluid is just a special name for a fluid that doesn't follow the normal fluid rules. Oh uh, yeah, so a normal solid has its own shape and a normal liquid or a fluid takes the shape of whatever container it's in. So if you have water in a cup, the water is shaped like the cup. <laughs> exactly, but oobleck, because it's a non-Newtonian fluid, sometimes acts like a liquid, but it sometimes acts like a solid, <laughs> depending on what we do to it. Oh, whoa, so are there other kinds of non-Newtonian liquids? Exactly, so one you might be familiar with is ketchup. Ketchup, yum! <laughs> I love that on my french fries. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're trying to get ketchup out of the bottle, what do you usually do? Mm, you normally need to tap the end of it a little bit. <laughs> exactly, because ketchup, when you hit it, when you add force to it, it acts more like a liquid. Oh! <laughs> and when you don't hit it, when you're not doing anything, to it, it acts mm -hmm. more like a solid and it's harder to get out of that glass bottle. Whoa, that's so interesting how it can be a solid sometimes or a liquid sometimes. Exactly, just <laughs> like oobleck. So watch this, when you squeeze it together, squeeze, 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 it acts like a ball. Whoa. But watch this, as soon as I stop squeezing it, it acts like a liquid flowing through my fingers. Whoa, it melts! <laughs> that's so cool! Whoa, and why is it called a non-Newtonian fluid? Yeah, That's a long name. <laughs> that is a long name. So Isaac Newton was a physicist and a mathematician, and Whoa. he set up some rules for fluids, and this doesn't really follow them. Mm -mm. It likes to break the rules. <laughs> yeah, and I've heard of Isaac Newton. That's so cool that he named this fluid. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oh, I have an idea. How about you make a little ball again, and I think our friend Mr. Elephant wants to play in the oobleck. <laughs> Here we go! Woo! Uh oh! Whoa. He's getting stuck! <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah, if he just moves around a lot, he doesn't get stuck. See? He's exactly. just walking in over the oobleck. <laughs> if he stomps on the oobleck, he can stay on top. Look! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Stomp, stomp, stomp! <laughs> yeah, but if he's not stomping, he'll sink like water. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Black. <laughs> well, it looks like Mr. Elephant needs to go take another bubble bath. <laughs> Ooh, Emily, this ooh like is super fun. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blippi, now that you know how oobleck works, I have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Well, yep. where is it? Go ahead and slide down that slide. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the bottom. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this 
This isn't ooh black. This is ooh blippy. <laughs> blippy, that's a corny joke. A corn starchy joke. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I had so much fun today. And it's so cool learning about non-Newtonian fluids, how they can be liquids. Woo! Or solids. <laughs> oh, Emily, I had so much fun doing science experiments. Would you like a really big hug? Mm, maybe later, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get that. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I. <laughs> Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you later. I need to get out of this ooplek. Woo! Whoa! 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at where we're at! Whoa! It's like we're in the wilderness! Whoa! But we're not! We're actually at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington! And this is gonna be so much fun because you and I are gonna learn about so many different types of animals! What they eat, what their habitats are like, and also their personalities. Just like how you and I have different personalities, these animals have different cute personalities too. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, I was just acting like a jaguar. Yeah, I'm in the back of the jaguar habitat. Yeah, but the jaguars aren't here. They're waiting to come out here. Hey. And what is John doing? Hey, John. Hey, Blippi. How Wanna are you? Help me put some fish out. Yeah. Oh, is that what you did right here? Oh. Yeah. It look, looks like John put a little fish right there for the jaguars. They're treats for the jaguars, also known as enrichment. Ooh. Can I try? Sure. Perfect. Wow. Check it out. Okay. So John says that we can put some of this food out for the jaguars. All right. Okay, I think this looks like a perfect area. <laughs> there you go, the jaguars are gonna love that one. How about I put one right here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll put this one nice and tall. So then it'll be a little trickier, and more fun for the jaguars. Whoa, <laughs> here you go. Perfect. So it looks like the jaguars might come all the way up on this log. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun for them. <laughs> okay, how about one right here? Here you go. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to go out front and then when everything is ready, then the jaguars can come out. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, the jaguar. Yeah, this is Fitz, and Fitz is a boy. Hey, Fitz. Hey. Wow. He sure does love all that fish that we put out there, huh? <laughs> wow. Did you know jaguars are the third largest cat in the whole world? Yeah, tigers, lions, and then jaguars. Wow, they are so big. Yeah. Do you see the color of Fitz? He's kind of like an orangish cream. And then do you see the spots on him? Whoa, those aren't called spots. Those are called rosettes. Yeah, you look at them right there. You see how there's that shape on the outside and then there's a little dot in the center. Yeah, that is a rosette. <laughs> wow, Fitz is so cool. Hey Fitz, wow. Whoa. Hey, 
Hey, check it out. Yeah, these are tapered. Hey, <laughs> look. That one is small, and that one is big. This one's actually a baby. Yeah, these animals are nocturnal. That means they like to be out at nighttime. <laughs> and they love to eat bamboo. <laughs> Whoa, they kind of look like a pig, cow, and an anteater combined. Whoa, check them out. Wow, sure looks like they are loving that food. But hey, did you notice that their nose? Yeah, it kind of is really long. And when they swim, their whole head is under the water. And then their nose goes up, kind of like when you use a snorkel. Whoa, then they can swim and breathe. Whoa, breathe. And today on the Animal Ambassador Show, you and I are gonna learn about some really cool animals. But first, let me give you some hints and then you guess the animal that we're gonna learn about first. Ready? So, this animal is really pokey. Yeah, uh, this animal is about this tall. It cannot jump and it's a really good climber. Hmm, what animal? It's really pokey. Yeah, a porcupine! Let's learn about porcupines. Oh, hi there. I'm Susie, and this is my friend Skyana. And Skyana is a North American porcupine. She is six years old, and she is an excellent climber. She climbed this tree today to say hello to everyone and to also eat some of her favorite snacks. Today, she is eating apple. She really loves apple. She also loves carrots and sweet potatoes. And she is really prickly being a porcupine. She has about 30,000 quills underneath all of that hair. You don't have to worry though. Porcupines can't shoot their quills. Instead, they just fall out easily if anything comes close to them. And they're sharp on the ends. They have tiny little hooks that are kind of like fish hooks. So they stick to anything that might come near them, like an animal that might try to sniff them and check them out. Wow! Look, this is Skyana! Whoa! Hey, Skyana! Wow! She is so cute! <laughs> wow! It has been so much fun learning about these animals, hasn't it? Yeah! Okay, I have another animal for you to guess, okay? So this animal, yeah, has an armored shell. Yeah, to protect itself. Hmm, this animal loves to dig. <laughs> Some of these animals can actually roll up into a ball. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, it's an armadillo. <laughs> Hi, this is Amarillo. Amarillo is a nine-banded armadillo. You can find them in Texas and Georgia and some of the warmer parts of the United States. And Amarillo loves to eat bugs. That is his very favorite treat to eat. He's got this hard shell of his that has this armor that protects him from any predators, but he can feel it. He can feel it when I touch his shell and it's made out of the same things as our fingernails. Wow, armadillos are so cool. I love the protected shells. Oh, hey, here he comes again. Hey, right over here. We have some treats. Oh, there you go. He found all the treats. But hey, I have something in the back. Yeah, a whole meal for him. I think we have some more animals to learn about. <laughs> wow, these animals have been so fun to learn about today, huh? Yeah, I sure do love animals. Okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Are you ready? This animal is a bird. Yeah, and this bird can actually turn its head about 
170 degrees. That's almost all the way around. Huh, it loves to eat mice. Yeah. Oh, and it makes this sound. Yeah, it's an owl. I love owls. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Koba, and Koba is a spectacled owl. Spectacled owls are from South America, but Koba is really special because he was actually born right here at the Woodland Park Zoo in 1992, making him 28 years old. Owls are really special because they have really large eyes, and that allows them to be magnificent nighttime hunters because they can take in all of the light from the moon or from the stars but their eyes are so big that they can't move inside their head. So we can hold our head still and look left and right like that, but Koba can't. He has to turn his head to look around. So that means he can turn his head 270 degrees that way and 270 degrees that way. Wow. This owl has been so much fun learning about. Wow. What a pretty bird. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I act like owls? Whoa! These animals have been so great to learn about today, huh? Yeah, but that's not the end of them. We have another animal for you to guess. Okay, here are the hints. This animal, yeah, loves to be out at nighttime. That means it's nocturnal. This animal is hairy, but not its tail. Its tail has no hair on it. And if you live in North America, you might see this in your backyard. At night, remember? Yeah, this is an opossum. <laughs> Hi, this is Clyde, and Clyde is a Virginia opossum. Opossums are really special in North America because they are our only marsupial, which means that opossums have very tiny babies that grow up inside their pouch like a kangaroo or a koala. Opossums are great to have in your neighborhood because they are omnivores, meaning they eat both animals and plants. And particularly, opossums eat ticks, which are big pests and we do not want ticks on our bodies. But one opossum can eat up to 30,000 ticks in one season. That's a huge amount that stays off me and off our pets and our really nice snack for opossums. Wow. <laughs> Look at Clyde. <laughs> hey, Clyde. Wow. Clyde is so cool looking. Look at how big his snout is. Yeah, wow. And do you see how Clyde is using his sharp feet and hands? Yeah, his claws to stay on the tree. Hey, Clyde, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> wow, are you enjoying your snacks? Yeah, <laughs> wow. Well, this has been so much fun learning about these animals. It has been oh awesome, oh possum. <laughs> Check it out. This is a rhino. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Whoa. This is actually a greater one-horned rhino. It's the largest rhino in all of Asia. Yeah, there's actually three kinds of rhinos in Asia. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. You like your snack? <laughs> yeah. This rhino's name is Glenn, and he's eating some romaine lettuce. And actually, it's Glenn's birthday today. Yeah, is it your birthday, Glenn? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, today, Glenn is turning four years old. Whoa, you are getting to be a big old boy, Glenn.
birds. Those birds are flamingos. Whoa, what color are flamingos? Oh, yeah, they're the color pink. <laughs> Do you know why they're the color pink? Yeah, it's because they eat a lot of pink colored shrimp. <laughs> That's so cool. Hey, why am I not the color green? Because I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> that's silly. Well, hey, do you see how these flamingos are standing on one leg? Yeah, they can actually lock their legs. And so then standing on one leg, whoa, conserves energy. Hey, you should try to stand on one leg. Yeah, whoa, whoa, <laughs> so fun to try and balance. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, flamingos are awesome. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. Well, see you again. Bye-bye. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs>